Project Cat 2 slash Chasing Cat 2 continues and it's race day today. I'm heading to Bath to take on the odd down circuit. This will be the first time I've raced there so mixing it up again with a different circuit and having a little look at it online. There's two big hairpins so I'm guessing there's going to be some serious accelerations out of those and some big power needed to hold the wheel, get on the wheel. I imagine a few naughty little attacks as well. But same as last week, it's a double crit race week and I think this is going to be my last double race week for the remainder of the season double crit race week anyway but i'm just spinning over to work i left the van at work yesterday save on the fuel and also because i knew i was cleaning my bike i thought i'll ride in because normally when i clean it something goes wrong after it as if the mud is holding it all together dad will be devastated to hear that but just spinning over work and then we give it the berries tonight at odd down so i'm here super early just taking a look at the track and it looks twisty there's one of the hairpins and it's quite a long course it goes all the way down to that far end loops around here looks like it's going to be full gas out of them corners and it's super windy look at my hair it's blowing a gale how many safety tell the app can't snake me break gun on safety my girl's so tasty Tell her it's your world She want the two-tone spaceship Blow smoke screen daily So the stress don't phase me I'm going I keep it factual I'm on sabbatical I'm out of Central America I need a break from hysteria Park like the one with the carousel I get it lit in your area I'm locked to the vision It couldn't be clear You couldn't pay me to care enough I dare you to hate me Supreme with the sound through the stereo So turn it up loud when you hearing us We live and it's good in your area My mama proud She tearing up And it's going down Got your girl aroused By these massive stacks Like a Holy cow I have got no words To describe what I have just been through In that bike race Like that was a pure baptism of fire That was hell there's no other way of describing it i got my legs completely ripped off like if anyone goes down to odd down circuit at any point and finds a couple of milk bottle legs kicking about please do send them back to me i was destroyed i was pedaling squares and it's made me think like geez maybe all of this racing training is catching up on me and maybe i was carrying a little bit of fatigue from the weekend or Maybe I just want good enough tonight. It bloody hurt my legs. I'm an absolute shell of a man now. The drive home, I was like, what have I just put my body through? My legs just could not put down the power to keep up with these boys. It was madness. But big decision to make with like training tomorrow now. Do I take a rest day? Do I spin the legs out? Do zone two? Do I race Thursday? I don't know. I really want to race Thursday because it's at Hog Hill. It's my favourite course. But like I am tiptoeing, I think, on the edge of just like total fatigue and burnout. So knowing me, I'll probably race. But I've got some big decisions to make over the next like 24 hours. I'll see how I feel in the morning. But right now i'm a wreck so back out on the bike just like commuting home doing a little bit extra keeping it chilled zone two today after last night's slightly subpar race performance and it is mainly just to remind my legs that cycling is fun and not a form of torture but i try and always keep these vlogs positive because no one wants to hear me mope on but that's not always the case i'm feeling miserable after last night's race and it's mad how you instantly start questioning everything like you forget about all of the good performances you've had this year and like the good results and you instantly just all you can think about is yesterday and i'm like i'm chasing cat two maybe i'm not ready for cat two my powers maybe not there my technical skills and like really that's such a terrible way to think about it after one bad day but it's mad how we're like getting our own head about stuff like that but i want to try and keep it real that's how i'm thinking i've been miserable all day but i'm trying to take some positives from yesterday's race and firstly the big positive is that i didn't give up and throw in the towel when it was hurting and it wasn't going my way i dug in and 
done what I can on, I'm gonna say it's a bad leg day. So you've got to take that as a positive. I could have quite easily just gave up and called it a day, but I dug in, done what I could. And secondly, got a bit of cyclocross practicing, didn't I? Oh. <laughs> You've got to love it. All will be explained why I'm not on the track in the video on Sunday. But I'm still completely unsure if I'm going to race tomorrow because, like, noodling along doing like low zone two, everything feels fine, but you don't get to do low zone two in a in a crit there's all them high surges and i don't know whether the legs are going to be feeling it tomorrow or not i mean most of the time for me i just rock up on the day and it's either yes or no they're working or they're not so i'm just going to do like 60 to 90 minutes low zone two i'm on the old commuter get home chill get an early night and then hopefully the legs are feeling good tomorrow and i've got some motivation to race because i'm going to be taking a break from crits for two weeks after tomorrow and i don't know if i want to leave it on that bad note but equally i don't want to travel to a race tomorrow and have an even worse performance and like i said i don't know until the day when i hit the first climb or the first effort whether i'm going to be there or thereabouts so but i'm going to be positive and tell myself my legs are going to be pinging tomorrow do you want to back up a little bit it's not as close, close. As you think. no you feel <laughs> on top of me so it is race day and here we are on the sofa i'd love to say that i listened to my body to take a rest day and not race today but i'd fully planned to race today i had everything packed ready to go because i absolutely love racing hog hill but unfortunately work had to take priority today and although dad dad is my boss by the way although he always says that i'm always on my bike and not working they are. I'm putting this one down. This is the good thing about making the YouTube videos. Next time he says that, I can be like, bang, your man was working and not racing. So when I next need a bike, you know this footage is coming out. But I'm absolutely gutted to miss today's race. I really wanted to race because I felt like this was sort of my last chance to try and get Cat 2 today. Uh, all will be explained in further videos, but instead it has just been... We, what have we done, Rocket? We've had a blimmin' McDonald's <laughs> instead. <laughs> we've eaten as if we've ridden a 100-mile bike ride. Instead, we've had McDonald's for dinner, sat on the sofa, because it was a late night working. So no race footage, unfortunately. Rocket, got anything interesting to add? Nope. Something to entertain the people? She's on the wine. Again. But you know, sometimes life's got to come first, racing bikes second. Unfortunately, that happened today, so no, no racing. But it has meant that the legs are feeling fresh, so we're going to get a couple of big days on the bike the next couple of days. But I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.